Welcome back on this Monday. Hope you had a blessed weekend. I'm excited to wrap up chapter seven. Uh, this really brings all of the chapter into focus as uh, Jesus has been challenged by Pharisees, uh, especially in the last reading or so. And now we see a little bit more of that confrontation as well in an interesting way. Let's read uh, verses 36 through 50. One of the Pharisees asked him, Jesus, to eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. And behold, a woman of the city, who was a sinner, when she learned that he was reclining in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment. And standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with ointment. Now, when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he answered, say it, teacher. A certain money lender had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. But they could not pay. When they could not pay, he canceled the debt of both. Now, which of them will love him more? Simon answered, the one, I suppose, with the larger debt. And he said to him, you have judged rightly. Then turning to the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house, yet you gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time she I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore, I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But he who is forgiven little loves little. And he said to her, your sins are forgiven. Then those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? Then he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. So Jesus was confronting the Pharisees and now he was invited to eat with them at Simon's table. Now we cannot really determine the purpose that Simon invited him there. Maybe to, to learn from some of his teaching. Maybe it was a status thing to get Jesus to eat at his house. Maybe he was trying to entrap him. We don't really know. But what we do learn about Simon is that he was a Pharisee and was acting like a Pharisee, acting like a hypocrite. Jesus is at the table and a sinner comes in. Now, the sinner, this woman, uh, it doesn't say what her sin was. It could be simply that she was not following the Jewish law. She was not obeying it. Um, so she was kind of, while well, she was a Hebrew, she wasn't a Jew in the religious sense. Um, other times when it talks about someone being a sinner, that it is a an adulterer, adulterer, adulteress, I should say, a, a prostitute, very likely that this is what this woman was, especially the reaction that the Pharisee had. And remember that Pharisees were very selective at who was able to come in and eat at their table. It was a status thing. And now here comes this woman, this outsider, this sinner comes to their table. So, uh, this is, is a different story than what's shared in um, Mark and Matthew. Uh, here she, he, she wipes his feet, we, or weeps at his feet, I should say. I'm sorry. Uh, that's a, a sign of repentance. She dries it with her hair, that humility. Uh, also, the sign of just washing the feet is a sign of a servant. Jesus would do that in, in John chapter 15. Um, he, she kisses them continually. That's a sign of worship. And the anointing with perfume is, is honor and perhaps preparing him for the journey. What does the 
the Pharisees say about Jesus? Aha, if he was a prophet. So there we see that there was kind of a test. Not this man is a prophet and yet, but if he was a prophet, he would know what kind of woman this is that touches him. Jesus confronts him teaches him with a story about the two debtors, one who's forgiven much, one forgiven not as much, and then uh, with the focus of the analogy, the analogy of what she did that he didn't do. He didn't give Jesus water to wash his feet, but she wet his feet with her tears and dried it with her hair. He didn't give him a kiss to welcome him, as was the custom, but she has not stopped kissing the feet not anointing the head with oil, uh, oil as a sign of, of refreshing. Um, and here she did it with that. The point is that, that it's really showing the comparison between sinners and the self-righteous. The woman was a sinner, a repentant sinner, who was forgiven. The Pharisee, Simon, was self-righteous and pulled that judgment down upon himself. May God guide us not to live in a world of self-righteousness where we are always judging others, but to live our lives understanding that we are repentant, forgiven sinners, loved by God to serve. Notice that she wasn't saved because of those actions that she did. What does Jesus say? Your Faith has saved you. We are saved by God's grace through the faith he has given to us. May we, re we rejoice in that faith always. Amen.